I love this question because it, it deals with a common problem. Uh, we've talked about it a number of times on the uh, on the podcast, but it's it's a it's building science basics is how I would describe it. David writes, uh, "Hi, podcast team. It's, I started pretty late, but I've listened to nearly every episode since uh, January of 2023. I love the pod." I have a question about sealing the area in the basement between the exterior wall assembly and the brick veneer wall that wraps the bottom of my house. There's a one to two inch gap that cuts across the end of each joist bay along with holes in the top of the brick. During the winter, both freezing cold air and mice come in through these gaps. The cold air makes our basement cold in the winter and there are certain areas on the first floor close to the exterior walls that are cold on the feet. The more concerning part is the mice coming into the house and nesting in the fiberglass insulation. Also, there is Tyvek wrapping the plywood sheathing between the plywood and the brick veneer. Also, the brick veneer has proper weep holes at the bottom. I'd like to seal this area for both problems. My thinking is to use steel wool, something like excluder rodent control fabric, to cover the gap on top of the brick to prevent the mice from coming through. Then air, air seal the rim joist with spray foam all the way down over the steel wool and top plate to lock the steel wool in place. My concern is around proper moisture management and how you can either how this will affect the plywood sheathing and the brick veneer. Are there any thoughts on how to best seal this to both air and rodents? Thanks for all you do. Keep up the great work, David, uh, in Chicago. So he points out that that's the northern part of Climate Zone Five. So the question is, uh, uh, it's not clear from David's letter, but he sent some photos and he has what amounts to a uh, overhanging floor system, and. Uh, the question is, how do you seal up an overhanging floor system, which is often a huge source of air leakage? Brian, do you first want to describe what's the mechanism that's the problem here? Well, uh, Patrick, I, I'm, I'm impressed that you, I thought the photos were confusing. So I'm impressed that you recognize that. And now that I'm looking, now that I'm looking at them again, um, with you saying that, I see that the joists do overhang the top plates. And then the veneer seems to come up underneath some sort of a rim board. Is that what yeah, you Yeah, that's, that's what I see too. I think that's a great description. Well? Mike, you, ju you, you agree with that? Yeah, yeah. yep. It, it's not okay. something I've seen very much, but I can see where somebody who wants a little differential between the lower area of a lower area of a wall and the upper area where they're only going to brick the lower area, they want that to kind of line up. So they have yeah. the cantilevers. So the, 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 the siding of the upper area comes in uh, in plane with the brick. Which is interesting because this brick is, you know, held off the house and he mentioned it having, you know, having, having weep holes, but it's unlikely that any water is going to be getting it could. in there. At least not, <laughs> it would be at, coming at through the, the floor the system wall. above. Yeah, because the house, <laughs> the house overhangs it. So, you know, I think the, you know, what, what is happening is that, you know, air is able to come right up through this, this airspace between the brick and the, the wall, come right up up that airspace and then enter into the basement because the, the, that rim area is open. So, um, his, 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 uh, solution of using, you know, steel wool or some sort of mesh material in spray foam, I think, you know, I think you could maybe even just do that simpler by putting blocking on top of that top plate and air sealing the blocking. That's what I, I was going to say. Cut some yeah. framing material, um, you, or, 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 or foam pieces, but some, some sort of, you know, something that's going to air seal that area, fit them in there, spray foam them in there. And it, it should be, it should be fine. It should be much, uh, you know, much tighter and, uh, more efficient. The foam is going to be a problem with the mice though. So you, you I mean, you're going to have to use the foam with some kind of, um, you know, uh, great or metal uh, mesh or whatever, like he describes or, right, or just they'll use wanna, wood. Yeah. They'll want to yeah. eat the foam. Yeah. I think this is a more common problem we see in like garrison colonials and other uh, houses with um, overhanging floor systems. Yeah. Do you want to talk about that, Mike, what the deal is? With a garrison colonial where you have the second floor floor joist cantilevering over the uh, first floor wall, and then you have a brick veneer on the lower portion of the wall, the first floor, you end up with, uh, unless you put on a plywood or solid wood soffit, on that overhang, if the mason just brings the, if timing is out of sequence and the mason gets the brick up there before a solid soffit gets installed, then you've got the exact same situation where you've got that brick veneer venting into your floor system. So drafty and critters are going to get in. 
And even if you don't have the brick veneer, like that open soffit is a huge hit to your uh, home's energy efficiency because, you know, that air goes through the entire floor system, which means it can also go in penetrations uh, in interior walls into other levels. It it is Mm -hmm. uh, a huge hit. And since it's often low to the ground, the stack effect uh, makes it even more dramatic than it would be if it was in the more neutral part of the house toward the center. So. Yeah. And then a lot of people notice that uh, as a comfort issue, they notice that the, you know, the floors uh, over near the perimeter, the floors are very cold. Um, so that, that gets, you know, that gets a lot of homeowners who maybe aren't thinking about, about building science or energy efficiency, just simply notice a comfort issue in those situations. Yeah. Um, and it's it's so like easily David. remedied. It's so easily dealt with at the framing stage where with uh, sealants and tapes, we can now, run the exterior sheathing around, tape those joints, both where the wall meets the soffit of that overhang and where the exterior wall meets the outside edge of that soffit. And that way it can be sealed up for air leaks almost completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, It looks like, David, it's going to be pretty easy to solve your situation, as uh, Brian suggests, with some lumber just nailed to the mud sill, uh, you know, and, and going over top of the top of the brick and uh, then cock the perimeter and should be not too bad. Send us photos, please. Yeah.